Hey everyone, hope you're all well. This April favourites crept up on me so fast, it's just the end of the month and I don't know, I don't understand how that's happened. There's been quite a few th new things that I've discovered this month. If you guys are wondering, the dress I'm wearing is from Own The Look um, and it's a new brand, like I've only just discovered it, but this dress, I am so in love with it and I really wanna go on holiday just so I can kind of flounce around in it properly because I feel like it's not really a London sort of dress, but how gorgeous is this pattern? It's so pretty. So I'll link it down below um, so you guys can find it if you'd, if you'd like. <laughs> uh, I think I'll start with kind of Bath & Body. Morton Brown is a brand that I, like I never used to kind of notice. I know that sounds really bad, but it's just not something that used to be on my radar. But these two, they're some of the nicest smelling things I've ever, ever tried. And that's a really bold claim. Um, exquisite vanilla and violet flower scent. Um, and I've got the body lotion and the shower gel. So I've been using these nonstop since I've had them. Just such a lovely, light, springy scent, uh, but with a sweetness as well. But yeah, the body cream as well is lovely to use. Sometimes I'm quite picky with body cream. I don't like it when it, when it takes ages to work into the skin. This just absorbs in quickly, makes you smell amazing. Um, and I've been loving this. And I'm trying not to use it too much because I don't want to actually go through it too quickly because I love it so much. So I've been loving these. And then also, I've just been loving this lip gloss. Um, it's the Dior. Um, Dior Addict Ultra Gloss in 267. This cut, I've got it on today. I've just popped it on top of what I'm wearing. And uh, it just, I just love this shade so much. I feel like it really suits me, my skin tone. Um, I really wanna get this in different shades. It's just such a nice lip gloss. It's not sticky, it lasts on the lips. Um, it gives them a really nice plump look. Such, such a good high-end lip gloss and definitely worth the money. I feel like a lot of them can just have a massive price tag for no reason, just because it's the name, but I feel like this really is worth the money. Okay. <laughs> so if you guys, what video was it? Um, I feel like, oh, it was like my morning routine. I mentioned this thing <laughs> and I am obsessed with it. I feel, I feel like I say I'm obsessed with everything. So I've been using this to apply my foundation and this just turned up in my PO box one day and I was just like, okay, I'm gonna try it out because it looks funky and interesting. It looks like what's in my boobs. <laughs> it's a silicone sponge. Like, you know when you dot your foundation around and then you go to kind of spread it around your face? It spreads it around my face so easily, like nothing else I've ever tried. I'm gonna try and find a link to it because I actually can't find it anywhere online, but I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll find it somewhere online. But yeah, this little thing, it's such a simple thing as well, but this has like revolutionized my foundation application. <laughs> that rhymes. Next, for under eyes, um, this has been working so well for me. It's Trish McAvoy Instant Eye Lift. So this is a correct, I think it's more so of a corrector for under your eyes. Um, this is in, I think it's in number two. When I first saw this, I didn't know if it would work for my skin tone. It's quite, I don't know, I didn't think it would kind of blend in with my skin, but like I've got it under my eyes today. I feel like, oh, for one, it's really, really easy to blend into your skin, it literally takes, it's just so easy. Like it's very seamless. Um, it's very light under the eye. It's much lighter than my Bobbi Brown corrector, even though that's like a lifetime favorite of mine, but this is so much easier to work with. Um, brightens up under the eye really well, just like covers up, you know, the bags under the eye really, really well. I haven't tried much from Trish McAvoy before, but i um, really impressed with this. And it takes a lot to cover up my bags because <laughs> they're real bad. <laughs> Next is a skincare favorite. Um, this is from Elemis. It's called the Superfood Facial Oil and I use this at night um, and it's just, uh, okay, it's really hard to kind of keep explaining different oils differently. I mean, essentially I just put it on at night. It's a very light oil, works into my skin so nicely, really nourishes my skin in the morning. Um, I feel so much, ref I, my skin feels so refreshed, replenished um, and kind of bouncier and brighter. So yeah, I just feel like this is such a mix, like such a mixed bag of benefits that comes from this product. And you only need a few drops. I only use like two to three drops. So it's gonna last ages as well. It says antioxidant and omega rich. I'm really into my face oils and I've tried so many different ones and this is definitely a favorite one. Um, next, this is actually a baby favorite, <laughs> but I really wanted to mention it because I love the brand Rituals. So this is the Rituals, well, it's Tiny Rituals. So cute, <laughs> so cute. Um, Small acts of love create tiny miracles. For baby, mild and caring massage oil. Um, and it is rice milk and sweet 
al almond oil. <laughs> Um, I love giving Indy a little massage after her baths. I've got a few different ones. I kind of, I do like all the ones that I've got, but this one is definitely kind of stands out to me because it's got such a nice soft scent to it. It absorbs into her skin really, really nicely. Doesn't leave her with horrible, like oily skin afterwards. Um, it's just a really lovely product. If you do have a baby and you like giving them a little massage, definitely check this out. A fragrance that I've been meaning to talk about for so long and it's a little bit out of season now, <laughs> but you know, as I've said before on my channel, I don't really care what season it is. I wear really like heavy musky scents even in summer. This is Myrrh and Tonka um, Cologne Intense. And I find that I'm always attracted to scents with Tonka Bean in. Oh. If you know what kind of scents I like, my favorite scent is Tom Ford Noir, which is more, I think it's actually a men's fragrance and it's quite musky and kind of mysterious smelling. And this is a little bit, it's kind of reminiscent of that um, in the way that it's quite musky as well and a bit of a heavier scent. Mm, it's just right up my alley. I also love the bottle and this is just one of my favorite Jo Malone scents. I feel like most Jo Malone scents are more daytime, non-offensive, kind of very easy to wear. And I like something that's a little bit more challenging to wear as a scent. Next, um, I've got some style favorites. The first is this skirt from Mango. You guys have seen it before on my channel. Um, it's this gingham skirt with this twist in the front. I find that this is, and I find even if you're scared about wearing mini skirts, the twist in the front makes this skirt really flattering. It's, I just really hugs your body. Love the pattern, obviously. It's very kind of like a trendy piece, but I like that the gingham is quite a small um, print. So it's not too in your face. It doesn't look too much like you're wearing a tablecloth. <laughs> really easy to style because it can go with smart, like a white shirt on top, or it could go with uh, like a band tee. Um, so just goes with everything. Such a good piece for this spring, summer. Love it, I'll link it down below. Ah. <laughs> Next are these jeans from Topshop. Some people actually said that they liked these jeans I was wearing in my last style video and I didn't actually mention them because I didn't think about it. But I got these straight leg jeans from Topshop and these are just life. <laughs> I don't say many things are life, but these, yes. I love the bottom. I might actually cut them a bit because I feel like they're a t little bit long for me because I'm only like 5'3". Um, but yeah, the fit is amazing. I was just looking around everywhere for a great pair of straight leg jeans. Topshop just seemed to have the closest to exactly what I was looking for without having to spend like 300, 200, 300 pounds on like, you know, really high end ones. Um, so, lovelies, <laughs> lovelies. <laughs> Love these, get your hands on these if you're looking for a good pair of straight leg um, jeans. And again, I'll link them down below. Next, some shoes. <sighs> I haven't been able to take these off. <laughs> these, oh, these are from Ego. They're a little bit dirty, sorry, because I've been wearing them, them all the time. Um, and they are some kind of cheeky um, Gucci dupes. They are so amazing. I love them so much. They get so much attention when I'm out as well. Like they really catch people's eye. Main reason why I love them is because they're super comfortable. Because sometimes when you get more inexpensive shoes, you pay for it pain wise, but oh my God. They're so soft. I don't remember the exact price. I think they're around 25 pounds. Um, so much cheaper than the Gucci ones. And I've been loving them, so had to throw them in. I've got one TV show that I've been really into and it's Big Little Lies. And I feel like everyone's gonna be talking about this this month. Um, it's a book that I, <laughs> honestly, a few months ago I read the synopsis and I was like, <laughs> Sounds a bit shit. And then I saw that they, you know, I saw that they'd done a series on it, so I thought I'd give it a watch. I love how stylishly it's shot. Visually, it's a lovely pr um, series to watch. I like that it has a dark edge to it as well. I'm so into like anything a bit dark and more thrillery, you know, and like psychological. It's not that psychological, but you know, that kind of vibe. Um, it also touches on domestic violence, which I think is really important because it doesn't get like talked about that much. Um, so I thought it was a really good depiction of how it can be to go through domestic violence as well. What else? There's so many stars in it. It's like Reese with the, the <laughs> can't talk. Reese with a spoon, Nicole Kidman, um, the girl from Divergent, I can't remember her name. I didn't love the ending and I kind of guessed the ending as well, but meh. It was fun to watch this month anyway and um, I'd recommend it if you're after something to watch. It's quite a heavy female cast as well, which is also quite 
rare <laughs> and um, it's something that I think feel like is getting worked on more these days so it's really nice to see that as well. I've got one song that I've discovered and I really love it. It's called Break Apart by Bonobo and Rye. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but yeah, that's been on repeat. I've been loving that. Um, oh, oh my God. By the way, guys, in my blog, I've got a new design on my blog. Um, so I'm, I'm really, really excited about it. We've been working on it for, for God knows how long, like months and months. We've been like going back and forth. Katrina Bass, I hope I'm saying that right, um, has developed it. Uh, with me and for me and she's been amazing I highly recommend um, like her if you want to redesign your blog she also helped me before switch from blogger to WordPress she was made it so easy um, so I'll leave her website down below and her handles and everything and she's just she's just amazing <laughs> so please let me know if you like my new blog design because I'm super excited about it um, and yeah, I mean, you can let me know in the comments or go over and like, let me know on the blog, just in under one of my posts, because it would mean so much to me because we've been working on it for so long. I think that's about it <laughs> before I carry on babbling too much. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one and I hope you're having a lovely day. <laughs>